Welcome. Today we are going to review the setup and prime procedure for the Phoenix X36 hemodialysis machine. After powering on the machine, you are now ready to connect the concentrates. Connect your concentrate by attaching the concentrate connector to the appropriate concentrate wand. Now you are ready to insert the bicard cartridge. Inspect the bicard cartridge by tipping the cartridge back and forth and making sure there are no cracks. Open both arms of the bicard holder. To fully open the upper arm, pull the arm out slightly, then tip it upward. Place the bottom of the bicard cartridge into the hole in the lower arm. Hold the bicard in an upright position and press down firmly on the upper arm of the bicard holder. Turn the bicard by a quarter turn to place it in working order with the label facing forward. Now we are ready to position the Gambro cartridge blood set. Open the blood pump door and the air bubble detector door with a pinch and pull motion. Verify the blood pump rotor is in the horizontal position. Reposition if necessary. Position the Gambro cartridge blood set securely by looping it over the rotor and pulling it across and seating it on the pressure cone. Close the blood pump door. Insert the venous line into the air bubble detector. Close the door with a click. Place the venous blood line into the venous line clamp. You may place the arterial line into the arterial line. Click. You may now select the setup action key. Insert the cartridge lines in this order. Place the heparin line in the green clamp. Place the arterial line in the first red arterial line area. The line with a connector on it will go into the center position and the last line will go into the blue position. Close all clamps to the right. Place the dialyzer into the dialyzer holder on the left side of the machine. Attach the arterial blood line to the dialyzer. Close the clamp on the saline administration line that is attached to the venous line and spike the saline bag. Hang the saline by facing the words away from you so that the words will face you. When the prime action key appears, you may now open the clamp on the saline administration line and gravity prime the venous blood line. When saline has reached the end of the venous line, clamp the saline line and connect the venous line to the dialyzer, taking care to not kink the line. Kinking of the venous blood line may cause hemolysis. You may now connect your dialysate connectors to the dialyzer. Press down on the colored button and remove the connector from the machine. When placing the connector onto the dialyzer, put it on halfway and then connect with a click. Open the WHO door and observe that any fluid present drains away within six seconds. If the fluid remains visible, do not use the hoop. Close the clamp on the arterial line and insert the white priming connector attached to the arterial line into the hoop drain port. Unclamp the saline administration line. Press the prime action key. Select prime without UF. 
and immediately open the arterial line clamp. The blood pump will start automatically at its preset value. Adjust arterial and venous chamber fluid levels as needed. The blood pump will stop automatically at the end of prime. While you are priming, remember to shake the dialyzer gently to remove excess air from the dialyzer. When prime volume is complete, you may now connect your lines together. Clamp the arterial, venous, and saline administration lines. Connect the saline administration line to the cartridge saline line, utilizing the prime connector on the cartridge saline line. Remove the arterial line from the white priming connector leaving the priming connector in the WHO drain port. Connect the arterial and venous lines together utilizing the prime connector on the venous line. Remove the white priming connector from the WHO drain port and discard it. Do not use this priming connector for patient use. Close the WHO door. Unclamp the arterial, venous, saline administration and cartridge saline lines. There are four lines to unclamp. When the recirculate action key appears, verify that you have the correct levels in the blood cartridge set. Open the venous clamp, loosen the white knob, and adjust the level accordingly. Clamp the blue clamp. Open the arterial access line, loosen the white knob, and adjust the level accordingly. Close the red clamp. Verify that the venous clamp is open, arterial clamp is open, saline line is open, and cartridge four-line clamp saline line is open. Select Recirculate. The blood pump will start automatically at the preset value. The machine will automatically come out of bypass. If recirculate is not to be performed, press the bypass action key. An operator message will appear. Press set to validate treatment time, target loss, and UFR. Enter set mode by pressing the set button. And verify the treatment time, target loss, and UFR. Treatment time will be yellow. Adjust the time for the patient prescription and confirm your entry. Enter the target loss for the patient. Confirm your change. Confirm your UF rate. Press the set button to exit the set mode and return to the home view. Press the report tab and select start collect so you can begin to collect your patient information. Press the red Home tab. When Recirculate is complete, the Recirculate action key will remain yellow. The Recirculate time on the Home view will remain at zero, and the UF rate will decrease to zero to inform the operator that Recirculation has been performed. Proceed to Patient Connect when ready.